Hello again everybody. In the last videos I showed you how to configure the Gaia 7720, how to install the Gaia 7720 and also in another video I will show you how to configure the Gaia 7720 using the first time configuration wizard. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to add new interfaces in using the graphic user interface and also using their smart dashboard. It's there is something really important here to understand. When you want to configure a new interface, you have to do the configuration using the graphic user interface actually to add it to the appliance and also you have to add that interface to the firewall policy. I mean using the smart dashboard. As you can see I'm going to use exactly the same lab or maybe this is not exactly the same lab, it's very similar is something that you already know. I have my Windows 7 box that I will use to manage my Gaia appliance. I also have a Linux server, Linux center server. Actually I'm using this center server as my DHP uh, server for my Windows 7. And also I have my Gaia 720. This is a uh, second box I have. That's why I just see the number 2 here. I am using this cloud like my service provider should represent my service provider and as you can see I, have, I am using the Ethernet 0 for my internal network and I'm using the Ethernet 1 as the internet connection. This means that this firewall will be used like the gateway for my internet, right? So every computer in my internal network will go through this firewall to access the internet. So as you can see I have here my firewall my Gaia 70 with that 20, the command line interface. I have here my server that I'm not uh, using right now. And also I have the Windows 7 box that I will use to manage my firewall. Before to do anything, uh, you have to set up your smart dashboard. I mean, you have to install your mass dash smart dashboard or, or your smart console package right because it's a set of tools or your smart tools we will use this one the smart dashboard 7720 remember that the version of your smart, smart dashboard sh well should not it must be the same version as your Gaia appliance or higher I mean you cannot use for example the 77.10 to manage your 77.20 Gaia okay it must be the same version or higher so this is the the login page, the, the, the login window to access the firewall, the, the firewall policy, and we also will use the graphic user interface to uh, configure the interfaces um, on the on the appliance on the firewall directly. So let's use the same credential that we used before. And once you are logging in in the main screen, you will notice the network configuration. At this time, we can see we have the Ethernet 0 configured. Uh, it is up and running. And we have the IP 10.10.10.1. .10 .10 that is the one that we are using to manage it. Okay. And also, if you go here to network interfaces, you will see that Ethernet 1, 2, and 3 are down. I mean they are not configured at all and that is what we are going to do right, right now okay first let's just modify the internet zero we are not going to do any change on the IP addressing if I do that I could lose access to the management right to the management window of course but I just want to label this as internal network just to remind me what is this interface used for okay and now I'm going to edit the Ethernet 1 remember that I'm using this as my interface for internet I'm going to edit it I want to enable it and I'm going to add a new label here I just will pull something that reminds me what is being used for so it is being used for internet and I will configure the IP address in. as you can see and if you remember my other 
tutorials. I am using GNS3, of course, so I'm, I'm using a tab interface. This is a virtual interface. So I have the tab zero interface, which is, which is using the IP 10.255.255.1. Okay, this will be like my ISP interface. Okay, the ISP router. So I'm going to configure here the 10.255.255.1. And a mask of 24 bits. That's zero. Okay. And we'll click OK. Changes on the graphic user interfaces. On the graphic, well, yes, on the graphic user interface are automatically pushed. I mean, you don't have to push anything or save anything. Any everything you do here is automatically applied. So if you go to the Linux, uh, I'm sorry, to your to your server, I mean to your command line interface or your Gaia, and if you do a show interface, Ethernet zero, for example, that is the one that we already have had uh, configured, you will see the IP address ten dot ten dot ten dot one, which is good, and we will see also that the Ethernet one is is uh, configured with the IP address we want. I mean, we can see here ten two five five two five five dot two, okay. This is the first step of uh, for configuring a new interface on your appliance, okay, in your network. Okay, we already added the interface. We assigned the IP addressing, and now we have to add this I, this new interface to the to your smart dashboard configuration. Okay, so now we will have an in a two interface that will be used to pass the traffic uh, through the firewall, right? So let's access the appliance, I mean the smart dashboard. Remember that we also set up this username and password during the installation phase, right? So let's log in. Okay. This is normal. This is a warning that I received because it's the first time I'm accessing this uh, appliance, I mean this this firewall 10.10.10.1. So I have to approve the fingerprint as valid, okay? Once I do that, I don't have to do it anymore, okay? It will take a time, some time to pull the configuration, okay? But since this is a lab and this is something that we have local, it should be really quick, okay? I am using a trial version, so I'm I'm going. To, I have 15 days of uh, of uh, trial, so it is normal if you receive something like this. Just click OK and and move forward with the to the to the configuration. At this time we're loading the rules and should be quick. Yeah, it is quick. And this is something that you will see the first time you access the smart dashboard. I mean you access the policy. Remember that in, actually you can manage several policies using the same smart uh, the same management server. So if for some reason you want to know what is the the policy you want you are modifying or you want to modify, remember that every firewall has a policy. If you do a w stat, this is something extra, this is something that I'm going to explain to you right now. Okay. It has the initial policy as you can see, okay, because we don't have anything yet. Okay, so we, you will see something like this. Basically, we had a policy with no rules. We have an ad with just uh, basic rules. I mean, rules added automatically during the installation. Okay, but at right now, what we want to do, I mean, the purpose of this of this uh, uh, tutorial is to modify, to add new interfaces. So if you see here in the network objects. On the on the left menu, on the left panel, you will see a folder named checkpoint. You will have a list of your appliances here. So at this time, I just have the Gaia 02, which is the 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 one we just have modified. I mean, the was the one we just have installed. If you double click that that the icon, you will open the properties of your checkpoint gateway. So let's wait a time. Oh, let's wait a time. Sorry, I, I close it. 
okay let's wait some time to uh, to load and here you will see a lot of some properties of your of your of your checkpoint gateway okay the name the IP addressing etc okay so we will go to the topology section and here you will see that we have the interfaces added to the policy okay it is exactly the same as in the Gaia and uh, um, as in the graphic user interface we just have the internet zero with the uh, single IP addressing and uh, this, the same mask okay so let's edit this interface okay it is good RN0 10.10.10.1 24 bit mask and here in the topology section this is something very important uh, you have to define the behavior of this interface just to say like that okay in this case I'm going to say this is an internal interface okay and I will say that this network is defined by the interface IP and network mask okay I will click OK this is something you want to do okay and now I'm going to add the new interface in this case the Ethernet 1 which is the name exactly the same name that we have in the graphic user interface right exactly this name okay and we will configure exactly the same IP addressing in this case 10.255.255.2 and the mask is 255.255.255.0 okay let's click like this and then in the topology just label as external okay these are the two simple steps that we have to do to add new interfaces it is always the same if you want to use if you want to add a, a DMC for example you can add earn it to label it as label it as DMC and then you have to add it to the topology in your smart dashboard this is something mandatory so of course this is the main purpose of the firewall right we should receive traffic in one interface and forward it to another interface this is the most common scenario okay so let's click OK and after that we are ready to configure the policy so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you want to move to the next video I will be configuring a policy just to show you how to add new rules, new new rules to the policy, how to add NAND, how to add objects. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you like it please share and comment. Thank you very much.